Hyundai has been absent from the blossoming Mini Uta segment, so the all-new 2018 Kona crossover is a much-needed addition to the lineup. The brand's push to revamp and expand its entire range of utility vehicles by 2020 will see the B-segment Kona square off against the likes of the Mazda CX-3, the Jeep Renegade, and the 10 best winning Kia Soul, among others. This first Hyundai built upon a new platform expected to underpin a number of future models, not to mention the upcoming Kia Stana crossover. The Kona is a funky-looking Uta geared toward the customers with active and urban lifestyles that so many brands target with their marketing. Its expressive design is highlighted by chunky body padding around the wheel wells that spills into the front and rear bumpers and breaks up the lighting elements into separate modules. The new chassis, more than half of which is made from Hyundai's own high-strength steel, employs a strut suspension in front while the rear suspension depends on configuration, a torsion beam axle serves front drivers whereas a multi-link arrangement is the duty in all wheel-drive models. The standard US spec Kona power plant will be an Atkinson Cycle 2.0-liter inline 4 making 147 horsepower and 132 pounds to foot of torque, mated to a conventional 6-speed automatic transmission. The optional powertrain will be Hyundai's turbocharged 1.6-liter inline 4 producing a stout 175 horses and 195 pounds to foot and paired with the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. Other global markets will see choices Americans won't be offered, including a turbocharged 1.0-liter three-cylinder and a 1.6-liter turbo diesel 4. All-wheel drive will be an option with either engine, which are essentially the same as the ones we get in the recently updated Hyundai Tucson. But at 164.0 inches in length, the Kona is about a foot shorter than that vehicle, so it should be notably lighter and wieldier. Standard wheel diameters start at 16 inches, with both 17s and 18s available on higher trim levels. Citing its clip overhangs and adjustable driving modes, normal, sport, and deco, that alter throttle and transmission programming and vary the torque distribution in AWD models, Hyundai says the Kona has a planted, responsive character in tight city driving. The styling inside is less polarizing than the exterior yet still quite attractive, with the notable Subaru cross rick like vibe. The Kona is slightly smaller than the Subi, however, build quality feels substantial, the ergonomics and control layout are smartly done, and attractive design details, such as body-colored accents around the shifter and vents, add a touch of spice to fancier versions. The leather-trimmed examples we saw also sported contrast stitching and piping on the seats, as well as color-matched seat belts. Hyundai will even make available tech less common in the B segment, including a full-color head-up display, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility, Qi wireless phone charging, 4G Wi-Fi connectivity, and rain-sensing windshield wipers. Beyond the Kona's funky paint colors are several contrasting color roof options, 